Watching Rosie find her mat. Morning Logan, morning Peggy. Oh, and Irene. Just because your name's not coming up, I know you're there. Morning Sally. Yes, you can stay in mom's room. It's up to them. All right, let's begin. Oh, how are you? I think we'll begin lying down. back up in 60 minutes, okay? Okay. <laughs> so you can, you can also be seated. Begin with your deep breaths. Send your breath to the base of your lungs. Feel your belly rise and release. Breathing in. And sigh, release. And if you're wondering why I'm not at the beach this morning, it's because it's very windy, very windy outside. <sighs> Scan your mind body if there's any tension. Breathe into that space and visualize it letting go. Set your intention for this morning's class. And what it is that you would like as the outcome. And full body stretch. Inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, knees to chest, walk the hips down and roll into your back in any way that serves your body. Rocks, rolls, press. If there's still pain in your back when you lift your knees up, keep your feet on the earth and roll from there. And you can be playing some nice music as you do this. And full body stretch. Breathing in. Breathing out, bring your right knee to your chest. Pressing down as the other leg lengthens away, press the heels away, toes back. Spinal twist, left hand takes that knee across, press the left arm into the earth so you can lift up your shoulder, lengthen it so now you're stretching through the upper back. Lengthen the arm, you can use this hand to go a little deeper. And breathe. Long, slow, deep,
bring that knee back to chest, press, bring your opposite shoulder up towards your knee, wrap your arms around, flex the feet. And release, full body stretch, inhale. Exhale, left knee, chest, walk the other leg away, flex the feet. It's good. Nice to be up. For some of us, early in the morning. For some of us, it's later in the afternoon. Spinal twist. Take your opposite hand onto that knee. Bring the knee over, lift this shoulder up and stretch it out, so you're lengthening, you can also place your hand on your knee, take deep breaths, relax into the tension so it can release. Back to centre, knee to chest, opposite shoulder, and release both knees, chest, walk the hips down, happy baby. Take your hands onto the inside, open. Use your hands to press your knees down towards the earth and then rock like a baby. Knees together. Wrap your arms around and lift your head towards your toes. Beach ball. And you can either roll to your side and sit up or roll your beach ball. One more. And bring yourself up to a seated position. You can cross-legged for option one or take your left leg behind option two. Sit down. Let's do a circle of joy. Breathe in, look up at the sky, bring your hands under chin, breathing out, press hands forward, back presses away, breathe into sky, and release, hands behind, clasp, breathe in, open heart, and breathing out, hands to heart, to the sky, inhale, to the right, exhale, slide across, press sitting bones towards the earth, hand, or forearm, lengthen the top arm, and then turn your heart towards the sky. Good. Wherever there is tension, release. And fill those spaces with peace.
behind, this arm across, lengthen, we can press the back hand in to help you keep your spine straight, breathe in, twist, breathe out. here. First option, slide back over to the side and pick this foot up over your left leg, pressing the knee back, finding a stretch through the thigh. Option one. Option two, place that foot back. You can remain seated or you can lean back to find the stretch. You can also lie down depending on where your flexibility is today. <sighs> That's good. That's good. I can see your flexibility in my mind. Hopefully I'm getting accurate transmissions. I think I am. Stay with your breath, keep letting go. It's all about the peace, the breath, the letting go that helps your mind, body find your center, lift your vibrations, boosts your immune system. here now this leg extends if you can keep the toe rolled in center there you go and reach across you can use this hand to give you some support keep lengthening spine reaching across looking up to the sky And every posture you must modify to work with your body. You want to feel the stretch but without any straining or pushing. That way you can keep your tendons and joints safe as you let go. Your body needs to let go. Can't push through. Not for stretching. like this one? I haven't done this one for a while. And release. Now this top hand comes to the earth and we're going to rise. Take this hand to the sky and this leg to the sky. And if you're feeling strong because yesterday we did those side planks, can move into a side. 
side plank as well. Won't be as long as last. Yesterday we did one minute. We won't do a minute. Smile. Lift your waist. Halfway. And well done. Child's pose. Knees apart, sit back towards your heels. You can rest your head on your hands or arms by your side. Back to your cross leg, it is option one. Tucking your right leg for option two. We start with our circle of joy, hands to heart. And breathing in. Take your hands under chin, look up at the sky. Breathing out, press, round back to the sky, breathe in. Hands behind, breathing in, open heart, and breathing out, good, to the sky. Take your left hand to the earth, slide across, lengthen, press this hip back towards the earth, and turn your heart towards the sky. You'll be on your hand or your forearm, Keep lengthening, press the hip away as you press the shoulder away, lengthening the waist. Turn towards the sky. Breathe. behind for a spinal twist. This hand goes across. Press the back hand in so you've lengthened, placed yourself in the center. Inhale and exhale, twist. Stay here for option one. No, no. Lean to the side for option one. Press that foot back. Coming back to the center. Another option. Stronger options to lean back. That increases the stretch. Or you can lie down. Adjust. It's easier if you let your foot be the same line as your shin rather than foot out, but it is up to you. 
your body. Your posture, your yoga, you know what you need most of all. And once we move into a posture, it's your breath. You focus on your breath. Deep. done. Soft release and extend that leg. Toe towards the earth if you can. And we start with this one. I think we did. If I've forgotten anything, just send me a message to my head and I'll receive it. going, keep breathing, and release, and now we take this hand to the earth, we come up, you can stay on this knee, earth, lift, or you can come into a plank, a side plank, on your toes or your knee, and lift the waist. Wide legged child. to your hands, knees. So now we do cat cow every class. That's because the pelvic floor is so important. And so is our spine. Very important. One of those functional foundation exercises. Cat cow. If you haven't done cat cow before, it's focusing on the pelvic floor. You tuck in the pelvic floor, the muscle between your pubic and tailbone. Lift it in, press in the belly button, press hands, shins to earth, tuck in the chin and tailbone, exhale. And then soften, arch, lift, chin, tailbone. 
Inhale. Tuck, lift, press, squeeze, exhale. That's good. A couple more. And to your neutral spine, we're going to do a wild thing, option one. From your fours, you take right leg to sky, lift, 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 bend the knee, and then place your foot onto the earth over the other side. And your right hand lifts. And you can reach back, heart to sky. Good. Keep singing. to fours, we'll go to the other side, from your fours, left leg, sky, lift, 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 bend, lift the knee like rover, take your foot to the earth, plant, now your left hand lifts, open heart, reach back, wild thing. to center, frog pose or wide legged child, open knees for frog pose, you also open the feet, you press back towards your heels and slide down, so you slide your knees open, you feel that inner thigh groin stretch. Good. You like this one? Me too. we're going 
trying to walk, step or jump to hands. Stop in the forward fold. Resting thighs, soft option. Willow, hands dangle or fold the arms. And rock, rock, move. Softly rise, bend to knees, uncurl, tailbone tucks, breathe in, breathe out. Good. Twelve. Cross crawl. Crawl in a circle. Good. Change direction. Excellent. Feet wide. Heels in. Hands on smaller back. Standing, soft camel. Inhale. And on the exhale, press the hips forward, lift the heart, shoulder blades squeeze, look up at sky. Tummy pressed in, glutes switched on. Turn the toes towards the front, bend the knees, roll down, stay here in Willow for a couple of breaths. Then fold the arms, rock, keep the knees a little bent. You can also ring the bell. And rise, bend the knees and rise. One more standing camel. Hands on the smaller back. You can also slide them down a little. Inhale. On the exhale, hips press forward, pelvic floor and belly button pressed in. Little back bend, lifting heart. Sure, it's good. to the front, softly slide down, bend the knees, start with willow, a few breaths. And then the rag doll, rocking, rolling, ringing the bell, whatever you need. Ask yourself, what do I need? And you do that. stretch. Heels in. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. Good. Here we are for option two. This is the middle option. Softest option. Come back to standing. If you have high blood pressure and you start to feel you need to come up, you can bend and stretch from here. Bend 
Bend and stretch from option two and bend and stretch from option three. Hindi squat, forward fold. Option five, medium, low. <sighs> Nearly done. You're doing well. And any sharp pain in your knees, you need to adjust this posture. You may need to come up. Or you may need to go down. And shooting star. You come straight up. Go into the sky, release, good work. Laying on your back please. Come back to the earth, lay on your back. Start with a free choice back roll and then we'll do a couple more postures and we'll have meditation. a couple of bridges. Start with your feet on the earth, arms by side, lengthen the hips down, upper body up, lengthen the neck. Bridge pose. If you're on your cycle or if you're pregnant, you won't want to do bridge unless you're very early. You can do resting butterfly, which is a lovely posture, or you can do another spinal twist. Bridge, number one, arms by side, inhale. On the exhale, pelvic floor lifts in, belly button presses down, squeeze, and then slowly peeling off the earth from lower to middle, resting on the upper back and shoulders. Chin is tucked in, press the heels, lift, breathe, mulabandha. Good for your thyroid as well. from the upper, middle, lower, bridge ball. Knees to chest, wrap arms around, lift your head. Beautiful. Another bridge. Arms by side. Inhale. Exhale, press, pelvic floor begins. Lower back presses in and then you start to peel from your tailbone. Up. Stay in option one, arms by side, or you can clasp the hands underneath. Roll to the tops of your shoulders for number two. There you go, that's good. Squeeze the glutes, press the heels. to the earth, from upper, middle, lower, bridge ball, press, good, and we have one more bridge, <sighs> arms by side, 
breathing. And as you breathe out, press towards the earth, Ulamanda, peeling off, arms by side for option one, clasped underneath for option two. You can take your hands under your waist for option three, or you can take your hands behind and press up into wheel pose if you are experienced and know how to do that. you're in wheel pose, place your head first and slowly come down from upper, middle and of course everyone else is coming down too. And reach forward. Walk the hips away, lift the head, wrap. And release, fish pose. Place your hands underneath, so your hands are on top of each other, underneath. Got that? Yeah. Yes. And then you press your forearms into the earth and that causes your upper back to lift. And you lift, your chin will lift up, upper back. You can also help if you have a yoga brick, you can rest your yoga brick above in your upper back. And release. Return to your beach ball. It's free choice opportunity. Free choice followed by the meditation. I'll let you know when free choice is halfway. Free choice is exactly what it sounds like. It's whatever you want. So if you need to go to the bathroom, if you need to go and grab your blankets or your pillows, you want to switch your lights off. You want to do yoga posture. There may be a posture that has been calling you. You can do that. You might be doing a spinal twist. Or a shoulder. posture that has two sides, you can change sides. Meditation. Find your meditation posture. You can either be seated or you can lie down. And you begin with your deep breath.
your long, slow breath will allow your mind, body to calm and release. Focus on something peaceful. It could be a sound, a feeling, It could be the temperature of your breath. You could be focusing on the temperature on the inhale and the temperature of your breath on the exhale. At the end of your exhale, press your tummy in. Make that exhale a little longer. Keep going. And while you are breathing deeply, relaxing on every exhale, Bring your awareness to your toes. Relax your toes. Breathe. On the exhale, relax your feet. You can feel your feet let go. your ankles, your shins and your calves. Visualize a beautiful golden ball of light. At the end of your feet is a very large beautiful golden light. This golden light is filled with the highest vibration highest of love, appreciation, joy, happiness and healing. And visualize that light as it moves into your feet, to your ankles, moving up in towards your shins. It's penetrating all of the cells and lifting the vibration and light and happiness and harmony of each one. As you relax your knees, you feel the golden light moving up to your knees. Breathe in. Breathe out. Golden light is lifting up, relaxing your thighs and your hamstrings, uplifting every cell. Breathing deeply as you visualize your legs in perfect health, harmony, happiness, joy, and your appreciation your beautiful legs. Lift your golden ball of light up through your pelvic region, through your hips, your internal organs right up to your waist and visualize that area bathed in a beautiful, healing, loving, golden light, repairing, energizing, regenerating, comforting, healing. up from the waist through your ribcage, chest, 
heart, right up to your neck, which encompasses both arms as well. You feel your fingers and your thumbs relax. Your hands. Forearms. Breathe in. Visualize your arms bathed in that beautiful golden light and every cell, harmony, happiness, joy, strong, healthy. As is your neck bathed in that light and your chest, back, middle back, lower back, your entire trunk of your body right down through to your toes, shining brightly beautiful light as we now extend that golden light through your head, from your chin, mouth, nose. Relax your eyebrows, your forehead, and let go through your scalp. Take a deep breath in. And relax your ears and feel your beautiful face, mind, body with golden light shining, repairing every cell that needs repair. Visualize that. Visualize every cell bathed in your beautiful golden light, harmonious communicating with every other cell and all systems functioning at optimum, perfect level. Visualize that. Still with your deep breathing, long cell in your body is shining brightly with the golden light. Any tension that was in your mind body has been released. Any pain repaired and let go. Anything in your mind that you wanted to support in healing, visualize that. See yourself moving towards your positive, healthy, wonderful future that you are manifesting with your thoughts, your actions, and your vibrations. Send that golden light into your future and visualize what that would look like. And your golden light can heal the world. Imagine your beautiful light expanding, reaching the entire globe, all the world supporting all others in their healing and their lifting, their happiness, joy, health. And you 
Visualize the world in your beautiful golden light expanded into the universe. Until your beautiful golden light reaches the edge of the universe and you see your light expanding with the expansion. to yourself, knowing that you are doing the very best that you can and that you do matter. Your thoughts matter. Your actions, your love and your appreciation, it all helps to heal you and the world. Deep breath. Start to move fingers, toes. Rotate wrists, ankles. And softly rock and move your body. Stretch. Softly bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position and bring to mind some of the things you are grateful for. Some of the things you appreciate. Someone you love. And as you feel that love, bring your hands to your heart and send that love to you. to third eye, living with your intuition, hands to lips, speaking your truth, hands to heart, living your passion and purpose. Namaste. Thank you for joining me everyone. And remember that our timetable has changed now. It is May. And normally I drop the Monday at 6am and the Saturday at 6am. But I thought I might keep the Monday at 6am going. And that will be nice and convenient for when we go back to the beach so that we can still do sunrise classes. And I'll have somebody else do the 8.45 when we're back. So for now, the only class that has changed is the 6 a.m. on Saturday, gone until the summer. So 7.30 tomorrow morning, I'll see you there.